get to me, I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my little speed. I know that it's here, I can sense it in my feet. The great Emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I'm gonna hold my head, cause I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy, a graveyard theory. I ghost try to approach me and got leery. Ask him a question and he vanished in a second. I'm walking through valleys, crying pumpkin in the alley. Didn't seem happy, but they sure tried to get me. Had to back him up with a fist metal crackle. I'm hearing someone saying, you a chicken, don't be scared. It had to be the wind, cause nobody wasn't there. I searched and I searched as I climbed up the wall. And then I started to fly, I went in deeper. Let it get to me, I'm just going to creep. I know that it's here, I sense it in my feet The great Emerald's power allows me to feel I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere I gotta hold my head, I have no fear It probably seems crazy, crazy, a graveyard theory A ghost try to approach me, he got there.
Okay. How are we all doing? Uh, let me check sync before anything else. I take a jump to the... Well, hang on. No, the best way to do it is one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, if you think that was off, do let me know. And if you're not hearing any sound currently, do let me know that as well. That'd be cool. Before I test anything else, though, or get to playing the actual game, I uh, just want to acknowledge that I'm streaming tonight from the lands of Camaragal people of the Eora Nation, and hence pay my respects to the elders past, present, and emerging. And uh, thank you. Sounds good. Sync is good. Excellent. That's what I love to see. Um, what I don't love to see is today in Sydney, A, it's hot as hell, and it, the kind of hot where, like, you walk out for 10 minutes and you come back and you feel like a slime. Um, also, COVID's just making a resurgence. Today is December 17, 2020, and uh, the Northern Beaches has 17 confirmed cases of COVID after like 10 days, and that fucking sucks. It just sucks, right? It's just going to screw up all our plans for New Year's and Christmas, probably. So let's just try and have a nice time today. You know, let's just kick back. Uh, did I say 17? I did say 17. As of like five minutes ago, they confirmed that. I know. Just let it... <sighs> it's in the subtitles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was two, Bianca. But uh, that turned into five and then six and now it's 17. Total. Not in addition to whatever you heard before. And uh, yeah, they went everywhere. One of them was like in a band called Nothing Too Serious, which is literally the name of the band. <laughs> anyway, look, it sucks. I just want to acknowledge it. I, I like sort of saying something at the start of streams that kind of puts a timestamp on it, you know? Because when we archive it on YouTube, I like to think, like, if the main use it's going to have just is just us personally, us revisiting this stuff. And it's it's bittersweet to free media for the band. That's true. That's true. Um, whether they'll actually play a gig again, we'll see. But, um... It, uh, it, it's bittersweet. It's good and bad. A double-edged sword, if you will, to, like, date these. To, like, put a, put a, like, time and a place to the different streams. So that anyone watching on YouTube has, like, a sense of place that's good. Because it's, like, it enhances its worth as a historical artifact in our lives. It's bad because, I mean, COVID's bad. Whatever. But, yeah. Having acknowledged that, let's just relax. Let's unpause. Let's marvel at the fact that we are... We have dual shock functionality now. I am using the analog sticks to control the camera. And it's great. I do wonder, though, if there is an ability to invert the camera. There is not. That's fine. I wouldn't expect that from a PS1 guy. That's cool. But also, uh, I can choose to... Uh, they want to email me a power board. <laughs> oh, no. um, but yeah, I can walk and run. Lickety split. It's real nice. Um, the the non, I, I think the camera's either inverted or not inverted. I can't I can't remember what it is, but uh, but yeah. Um, I'll just get used to that. And also, uh, you know, in addition to the dual shot controls, which is one of the two goals I had from last week. Uh, what am I doing that for? Um, we have a version of the game now that will not break when I try to enter the second level, <laughs> like it did last week. So that's good. So it's all good. As far as medieval is concerned, it's all good. Um, also, yeah, and in doing so, I did have to replay the previous level to get the chalice and get our new weapon, which is this little cane stick here. Uh, if you'd like a little reminder as to what it does... Uh, normally I could just poke people, but if I hold down the square button... Ooh, very cool. I will stick to the sword, unfortunately. <laughs> I like being able to swing at things and for it to work. And I will also equip the gun, because guns are useful also. They helped us, uh, they helped us beat the last boss. Hey, wait, why have I still got the cane attached? Much better. Much better. Alrighty. There's that mad scientist we met earlier, um, and we are going to head to Kensington for the next level. We'll listen to the broken game, just as a recap. 
From what I can work out, this is the epicenter of the blast. Look around, Fortescue. Connect as much magic as possible, and see if you can work out who's behind this terrible state of affairs. I will. Sure, we'll see. No harm in saving early and often. Fortescue deserves death. He does not. For one thing, he's already experienced it. For another, he's a lovely man. Thank you very much. He's an evil man? Wow. Okay. So. Let's have a wander down. I know. Let's access the DTD. There's no such thing in this game, I'm afraid. Oh, what? She's ways. Oh, goodness. I'm facing off against the Lord of the Dead here. Sexy guy. <sighs> What's your deal, dude? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, is he a. Uh... See, I figured it was some mini boss we were gonna encounter several times, but. Here's to be a guy I can kill. Hey, where's Jane Fonda? Nice. Okay. Well, I'm down to low half health. Excellent start. Please let me know how my mic compares to the game audio. It was a little drowned out in the last episode, so if it can be a bit louder, please let me know. Please. Hello let me know. there. I'm good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. So we're doing yet another one of these. The biggest fan. I'm gonna go get some. Oh, I keep forgetting that uh, oh, the balance is good. Excellent. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, there's a lot of that. I'm gonna heal up before I take on this next batch of people. At this point, I'm wondering if it would be advantageous to put the cane. Like, if it somehow has more attack power. Um, maybe fresh? I don't know. Well, anyway, let's stick with that. Because the sword is taking its sweet time to, uh, to uh, get as much damage into these guys as possible. Uh, like, to kill them again. To put them down. Whatever the technical term is. Defeat them, let's say. Can you not revive those zombies, please? Yay! Cool, 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 cool. That was much more successful. Boy, 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 boy! Very good. Alrighty. Um, we're not allowed to go in there, I think. Yep. I think this is the museum. This looks like the exterior shot of the museum. The last level we played. Does that mean I can, uh... <laughs> Hey, cool. Oh, bit close. Bit close. Uh, oh, we're on the roof now. Wow. I was gonna say we never went on roofs in the last game, but we did once or twice. Oh, here he is. Through this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. Okay. Uh, so that is where we will go last. Thank you for informing us, Oliver Twist. Open-ended level design. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Uh, do we want to go in there? Maybe. Let's uh, let's stick to this little opening area first. I reckon. Just have a look around. Oh, it's a friendly shopkeeper. You got some wares for me, bruv. Yes. Thank you. Can I read this? No. Oh, 
my shield. Mate, a copper. Good as what Mrs. used to make. Who is Mrs.? Okay, can I go in here? No, both of these are dead ends. Fair enough. Alright, so now we double back. What does that say? Lake is pride. Ah, a keyhole. <laughs> Doing your best Michael Caine impression. I won't marry another bat. There you go. I won't do that again. <laughs> Let's go watch the trip. Or the trip to Italy. If you want more of that. Uh, ooh. Okay. Interesting. Um, you know what? Before I take on those guys, I am going to climb that ladder on the left. That's what I'll do. Jeez. You, you notice the camera kind of fiddling around. For one thing, it's that PS1 trend of just like it clipping onto scenery constantly. And for another, it's like I mentioned earlier, it's inverted. So, oh, this goes to the same train track. Um, so where we go? Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry. I didn't know that was full damage. Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Alright, lads. Clear off. Supposed to rip the bloody arms off. I did say I wouldn't do it again, but couldn't resist. Alrighty. There are some behind the scenes materials for Medieval 1, but I want to see the ones where they settle on what their voice work or, you know, their cast is going to be. Because from memory, so Dan is just played by the game director. I just want to know what what that had the, what the decision making process was because like a lot there are other professional voice actors are great um, <laughs> that indeed is how you pull a lever you okay uh can i smash the cart no it's just scenery all right uh yeah okay let's go up this platform before we continue onward, McPepper and Son, Keyside Mills. That's a reference. I would love to know what it's a reference to. Okay. Um. Am I able to drop down? Yes. Okay. I believe that's the key we need. Oh, hello. Certain objects could be pushed or pulled. Oh, I see. Stand close and hold action to lock on. Mm -hmm. Use the directional buttons to move it about. Mm. Uh, pretty important stuff to know, given that we're still in the age where 3D is brand shiny, spanking new. So I get they felt the need to like tell people how 3D works. <laughs> This is an actual British person or someone putting on an accent. You're gonna have to Google that for me, Reese. I'm afraid. Look up who the voice actor is, where they hail from. Uh, because I am busy collecting keys. A regular keyblade master. Oh, hello. Out of my face. Okay. So this cane is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna stick with that as a weapon. What is this? Cat's maim. Try that again. What is this guy's name, you mean? The ghost. Um, I don't know, actually. They do name him at some point. Um, no, you'll have to, uh, <laughs> you'll have to consult the Wikipedia. Like, wh whatever male name is there that's not so dead. Oh, see, I don't want you to spoil yourself if, like, Zara comes back or something. Don't worry about it. I, I, I'll, I'll, I might look it up later. Right now, I just want to ride the momentum. Uh, keep exploring this level. Get that, get me that chalice. Oh, came back around. Nice. Um, okay, but I definitely want to get the chalice. There are only three listed voice actors on IMDb in the world. Okay. So it's just a an unusual, genuinely British man. Okay. Ah, this is how we get the chalice. Oh. 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 
sensei. Oi. It must be from out of town. All right. What's in here? Oh, I forgot to mention at the start. Um, I platinumed medieval. Uh, well, if you're on my, if you're on our Discord, yeah, I mentioned this. You would have seen it. But platinum the medieval remake for PS4 in the last week, and the prize that they give you is the original medieval one on PS1. So I could just play that on my PS4 now. That's rather nice. I think that's as far as like rewards for 100 percent a game goes. That's pretty good. I rate it. Come here, you. And I, I really, I've done a little bit of comparing of the two so far, just like, oh, is that a pri uh, trap? Okay. Hmm. I've done a little bit of comparisons between the two, just in terms of like how how you navigate to different levels and, um, you know how they how they introduce you to the mechanics to start with, rather than dropping you in a crypt and then an introductory level. Uh, ooh, try that one again, Bianca. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, yeah, but uh, I look forward to comparing it. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Um, do I need to push boxes again? Is that what I gotta do? I gotta push the action button and drag it left or right. No, uh, I think I've just gotta go in this way. Yeah. Up we hop. Oh, another key. All right. Uh, okay. I suspect we're going to pick up this key and there's going to be a bunch of zombies swarming it from out of the ground. Yep. Or out of the coppers. That's more appropriate. Ooh. Anubis is interesting. Whoa. All right. <laughs> all right, mate. Gotcha. Museum. Artifacts. Cycling to different weapons now. Jeez, the noise. Oh, what does it? Alright, we killed one. We killed one. Still in it. Yes. Did we kill both of the two remaining at the same time? That's cool. Jeez, that took a lot out of me though. <laughs> So Dan can't push a box if it's slightly askew. He's not that powerful. No. Who among us could push a box that is askew? Alright. So I figure we gotta... Oh, hang on. There's a pushable box. Come on now. Come on, Sam. Okay. Um, gotta get exactly the right position. <laughs> he doesn't have any muscles. No, but uh, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a uh, sense of depth perception either. And yet he has made it through one whole game already. So you know, let us suspend our disbelief for a moment, for the Dan's sake. Um, now I wonder if we got a oh hello. I'm just wondering where the chalice is. Firstly, let's kill these guys. Stop hitting me. Poke. Poke. Yeah. Poke you. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Uh anyone happen to see the ghostly outline of the chalice earlier uh, let me know where that was I'd love to get it before we leave we're doing quite well I think getting a flask of health uh, life bottle I believe the term is uh, it's hard to say out I'm not sure. we would have certainly died back there if not for that alright there we go 
Okay. And now we hunt for the chalice. Oh, jeez. Tight angle. Really need to see those ginormous polygons right up close, don't I? Um, so I suspect we got to go through that glass window to leave the level, which is good. Uh, but, as I keep saying, we got to collect this dang chalice. I think if I walk towards the ladder, he'll, he'll do that. Okay. Up your help. The invention of this century for only one penny. I look forward to seeing what that is. There has been a Wait. train. Oh, hello. Wait. Wait. You've only got Wait. gun ammo, so I don't need you just yet, but thanks. Uh, there is a train featured prominently on the, on the start menu. So, uh, I look forward to seeing that. I look forward to also not hurting myself unnecessarily. Will I ever learn? We shall see. Um, chalice. You back here? No. Chalice. Oh, hello, did I? Ah, ha ha. We in. We in, boys. Alright. What do you got? where the spell was cast. Look around for clues and then head over to the museum. Something seems to be going on over there. Go. I think this is the, the doctor's mission. To like find magic and collect it somehow. Oh, oh, I know where this was. This is, uh, this is, we saw this in the intro cutscene. This is where the weird red villain cast the spell that made the dead come back to life, including myself. Pivotal location, for sure. Uh, the question is, what do I do here? Hello. There are cracks around that window. I just wonder if there's anything I can do. Hmm. Oh. oh, hello. A pocket watch. Hmm. Puzzle we solve in today, me old mucker. What is that meant to be a triangle? Oh, I'd love to see the original asset there. That'd be great. Okay, so we're out again. Back in this family. Hello. Goodbye. Um, okay, so we got a stopwatch. But my only question is, where's the gosh dang chalice? Let's have a look back in this area. Hmm. You up here somehow? Let's deal with this statue. What are you what are you meant to be? What are you meant to be? Could not say. Ah, uh, here we go. Got L2 and R2 held down, and that activates first person view, which may be helpful for this late stage in which we are looking for something. Okay. Uh, so I exit out that way. Is that what happened? Sadly, my memory does not extend to five minutes ago or however long it was. Most assuredly answer that question for myself. Yeah, okay, this is what we did down here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's just water, which I don't necessarily want to fall in. What's this about? <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. I had to. Ugh. Good sound design. Get the sound designer a raise. 20 years after the fact, of course. Okay. We're gonna start first person looking everywhere now. Because I really don't want to leave without this chalice. I really don't. And if it's 
somewhere like very reachable, but just slightly out of the way. I don't want to be kicking myself over it later. I simply do not. All right, let's get up. Let's get up high. Good vantage point. Let's see if we can spot this little bastard. Where are you? I like the steam coming out of the chimney. That's cool. Pretty looking skybox too. Nice, nice clouds. Nice color sky. Very different color palette already from the first game. Uh, wait. 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 Uh, okay. Um, maybe um maybe I meant to do something with the stopwatch, I don't know. I'll just have a quick chat to an old mate. Where the spell was cast. Yeah, yeah, Look around yep, yep, for yep, clues. Yep, yep, yep. All right, thank you. <laughs> yep, the yeah, cam is active in here. It's the old chalice. Oh, mate, the chalice is uh, up high on a box. I'm going to see it. Um, I suspect those cracked walls are just for show. I will try smacking them. Dan, please. Dan. You have to be a good player by now. You have to be good at... Oh, okay. I think that's an invisible wall there. Yeah. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, what... We did look at this already. Maybe I... I've got to use the stopwatch somewhere. I just feel like it would be more obvious. So, I have to do something with these gargoyles. Alright. I am rapidly approaching the point where I will just look it up on GameBacks. Because, again, don't want to have to just come back here later. We've, done too, we've come too far and done too well to just protract it like that. Hmm. Real quick. And you, just to double check, he did say you should get the chalice before you Once leave. Through this door, there's no going back, Dan. So you probably want to make sure. You want to make sure that you've got the chalice. Uh. Don't jump in. Don't you dare jump in. Huh? <coughs> Master, will be pleased with booty. Yes, it's yeah, a pity booty. we cannot yet enter the tomb. We will return. What? Wow. What a... Oh. Must have taken weeks to, to design. <laughs> cool looking ship. Honestly. Yeah, okay. Thank God. Yeah. If Sir Dan had, like, jumped in through the window during that cutscene, I would have been very cross. But he did not, which is great. Um, oh, hello. Here comes the choo-choo. Oh, yes! <laughs> well played. Oh, I love that. I was pushed by the game very explicitly to keep exploring the level and I was rewarded for my efforts. I love that. That's a good game, baby. <sighs> hey everyone, here comes the choo-choo. That is Z Zach Galifianakis stand up I'm referencing there. Oh, we were in the, in the last session. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I will. Good advice, Tiny Tim. Cool. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so we came in here via that crack in the wall. 
but there was simply some gold to pick up and nothing else to do. So I imagine, now that we're back here, there is now something to do. I'd be very curious to see if this game really embraces the interconnectivity of levels like it did in the first one. So like for instance, we went to gra in the last game we went to the graveyard and then uh, we needed a skull key to go past a gate and we had to go north a bit to a different level, collect the skull key from a boss up there and then come back. And uh, there were like one or two other things like that, like with the enchanted earth and the anthill and the witches and whatnot. So lots of cool video game sounding stuff as far as progression. <laughs> Uh, is concerned so hopefully we get a lot of that this time around. Uh, do you have any for me? Probably just guns, right? Yeah, alright, never mind. I will hold on to me gold. Alright. Uh, okay. Up. Like I imagine we're just meant to climb this thing. Jeez. Oh, Here's one error platforming. Hey. Alright. I'm trying to get onto this garden bed. And then we will get up here. Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, what, do, what do I do now? <laughs> Alright, never mind. I'm gonna go back to ground level. Wait. Wait. Oh, hello. Anubises? Yes. Yes, indeed. Roar. Roar. Okay. And away we go. Um, you were all transparent. Well, that one was. Jeez, the chug. <laughs> Here's one, barely coping. Oh, boy. Slam. Alright. Uh, I'm not doing one. I'm not doing one. Alright, I killed one. Killed one. I'm just gonna play it safe. This is a powerful sound effect with the roars just over and over again. I agree, it's powerful. And there's the other. All right, cool, 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 cool. I probably used, probably should have used the shield a bit more, but hopefully this is the end of the level and it won't matter anyway. The crossbeam sound, yeah, bro. What's in here? Just lighting all the torches, okay. No worries. I hear a health fountain nearby. There it is. Beautiful. We'll be alright, folks. Yes, cool. Alright, um... Let's see now. Oh, hello. Uh... Back to the cane. running and slashing, more standing one's ground and actually landing hits might uh, be in my best interest. Keep learning and relearning this dynamic lighting, fancy. Yeah, it is nice lighting for a PS1 game, absolutely. Um, ooh, what's in here? Can't interact with it just yet? That's cool. What if I attempt you with a backward watch? No. I didn't think that would work. I just just wanted to try. A very uh, adventure game logic on my brain, on my part. All right. Uh, oh, block sliding puzzles. Let's. Um, well, firstly, I want to get up to this cliff top on the left. Uh, do, 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 do. And that way. Yep. Scroll of Sekhmet. Cool. 
Uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Origins, which of course is set in ancient Egypt, and uh, there are references to Sekhmet in that game as well. Cool. Will I learn more about Egyptology in a way that continues to enrich my life for years on end? No, of course not. But it's just nice to see parallels and similarities. What the? Oh, when I open that. And you just relax, my doggy friend. Yes, cool. All right. Isn't there a temple to Sekhmet in one of the early towns of Assassin's Creed? Um, possibly, but what I'm remembering is a quest where you investigate murder scenes. And um, they're basically doing these very ritualistic butcherings of innocent people uh, in the name of Sekhmet. I don't know if you remember that particular quest, but it takes you across like four different spots all, all over the world now. So, Tablet of Horus, I just got. Okay. Uh, and then I will pick up that last item. And no doubt all three will go towards uh, some kind of puzzle solution in the next room. Kill. And maybe, as a result of doing all this, we'll meet that uh, blue baby mummy lady that we pointed out in the first session. She's on the cover. Vaguely, it's been a while since we've Yeah. All good. Did you finish Valhalla race? And if so, is the ending crazy, yes or no? Don't tell me what the ending actually was. I just saw a, an article by Kotaku saying, here's an explainer on that bat shit end. It's like, wow, okay. Cool to have a crazy ending to an Ubisoft game. Oh, well, Far Cry 5. Cold as it is. Still working through it. Okay. Cool. But it seems like the ending is gonna be nuts. All right, cool. I suspect that has something to do with the segments in real life in that game. Um, but I will not inquire further. Because I will play myself with it. For sure. Because I'm enjoying Origins a lot. Origins is like... I said this on the Discord, but like, it's just such a... Such a, a bomb. Such a tonic. For me. Layla is immortal, I think? They don't. Kind of stuff and we just... Oh, okay. Hey, pal. Get off. Thank you. Alright, um, I'll double back and use up the rest of that hell fountain. Yeah, cool. We're in a better spot. Yeah, the new AC trilogy is genuinely pretty great. Uh, I agree. Having played Black Flag and Origins on the same system, it's like, they, like, absolutely have improved the series. It is a very easy position to take. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be used with a little mouse on them. So let's carry on in the next room. What's in here? Uh, ooh, very, uh, eternal darkness feeling. Just this temp, this little round room with a weird thing in the middle. In that game, it's a giant eye of a Cthulhu-type being that drives you slowly insane. In this game, uh, so probably something more similar to an Uncharted puzzle. What do I do? Um, do these statues... Okay, that one has a chest cavity, that one has a... Wait, they've all got the same face. Yeah, okay. Um, or do they? Alright, that one's a bird. That one's a... That and that one's a tiger. Okay, well they're all differentiating somehow. Question is, what do I give to each one? Um, that one's got his hands by on his knees. Why don't I try giving it? Here we go. Let's roll a segment. Oh my! Nice. Okay. And uh, oh, I see. So these correspond to the different gods referred to. Um, so I imagine stuff for Anubis. Yeah, because this is Anubis. It makes sense. All right. And that's a uh, hop. Horus. Where's Sobek? I don't know. 
I think the first time I learned about anything Egyptology related in, in any depth was Age of Mythology, which would be another cool game to play in this stream. Ooh, a coffin. Oh, hello. No, instantly in love, but hot listen. Hi, mate. <sighs> Careful, my lady. What's the ugly fumery? Cool. What does the professor have to say about this? What a skill! You made it! Excellent! Excellent! The energy you've collected has given us power of a sort. And that's not all you've brought back, I see. I don't normally approve of any old way for stray, but when they're as pretty as this one, I think we could make exceptions. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> if it's a dance, just like, well, alright. Tell buddy. me, did you find Turn anything useful on your journey? Mm. A what? Oh, he's telling him about the bad guys he saw. <laughs> a dog and a rocket? And those are fantastic. Interesting. I'll analyze this and see if I can't debrief our friend over here. So, Dad, can we not get some more about, zombie please? juice for my machines? <laughs> zombie juice? Your machines are powered by zombie juice? <laughs> All right. Try the hammer of Thor. I you will. Have a smashing time. I'm sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's equip this right away. Um, that. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ideal loadout. All right. Heck yes. AOE, I love it. I love it. Okay. There is no uh, attack for just tapping square, like with the cane. You have to hold it down. That is the trade-off. For some reason, I did not notice until now that uh, Zidane is blinking. Of course, it doesn't make anatomical sense, but it's a nice touch that makes him feel more lifelike. I like it. Um, nice. All right, new level. The Freak Show. The Freak Show. It contains some weird specimens of the best of times. Heaven knows what's going on there now. Creep in round the back to avoid being spotted. Not blinking, winking. Yeah, good correction. That's true. That's true. Yeah, he is hip. And uh, we are being allowed in on his private little joke. Alrighty. I like that, yeah, so far the levels have each had, like, two stages. As far as, like, yeah, two stages. So, like, we had the museum followed by a boss fight. And then we had Kensington followed by the museum revisited. Specifically the Egyptian tomb section, which we saw originally. We weren't able to do anything with it. Now... Okay, what are we looking at here? Is it is it literally just fat women? Are we literally just going to be bashing fat women with a hammer? Well, okay, bearded fat women. But, like, anyway. I'm going to say the hammer's really effective at it. <laughs> Alright. Dan, without a ringmaster, the imps are going the imps. crazy! Okay. They're up to the something, imps. but I don't know what. Oh, that sounded very Banjo Kazooie for a moment. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. Uh, Reese, I learned today, you may be familiar with the PlayStation 2 game Primal. Uh, in any case, it is available on the PS4 as one of those PS2 retro titles. Uh, developed by Sony Computer Entertainment Cambridge, who also developed Medieval 1 and Medieval 2. Um, hopefully you know what Primal is, <laughs> and then that would be interesting to you. Uh, it is certainly interesting to me. I've got a copy of Primal lying around for my PS2. I might just get it on PS4 again, though, if I'm enjoying it, you know. 
I'm confident I'll enjoy it. I played a demo back in the day. Didn't quite know what I was doing, but it was cool. Oh, what the? The camera killed me on that one. Not a fan. How dare you. Alright. Phew. Much better. Oh! Oh no, these are the imps. The bearded ladies are in fact just bearded ladies. Completely forgot that imps already exist in the medieval universe, and they look like that. Wow, I don't know. I'd heard, I'd heard of Prime. Yep. I do wonder how similar the teams were between this and Primal, because they went on to develop like something weird, like 24 the game is also credited to the same studio, so like I don't know. Oh dear. We're getting into yellow face now? Is this <laughs> tonic trouble now? Oh no. I wonder how they're choosing PS2 games before. Well, how did they choose it, period, back in the day? Because they only did, like, the batch of 30, and then they clearly didn't sell that well, so they never did it again. But, geez, what am I doing? Alright. The selection is very scattershot. I agree. Man. Yeah, this Fu Manchu caricature is not cool. But here we are. The Evil. Um, I suspect also, because here's the thing, like, um, the game Forbidden Siren is also a PS2 game that's been ported to PS4, and I imagine there's, like, Sony has some ownership over it, so they didn't have to pay as much to license it, to re-release it again. I suspect, I don't know, but I suspect that's the case. It'd be interesting to have a look at that catalogue of PS2 games on PS4 and see how many of them are Sony-owned, or at least partly sony -owned. Uh, certainly explain why they didn't bring back Crash necessarily, because that belonged to other people at that point. And I wonder if, yeah, I think Rogue Galaxy is partly Sony owned, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. Oh, oh, ladies, I apologize for being extremely dumb trail in this game. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Uh, is that someone in the. No, that's a dog. Okay. Can you? Can the two of you kiss off? Okay, thank you. Oh, hey. It's about the rat. Um, I am not doing well with the country. I've got a full life back. So I'm going to Alright. Okay, let's try this. Hey. Ah, and a bit of gold for me trouble. Nice. Um, so that is a teddy bear and I'm guessing a doll rather than an actual person. Oh, shit. Shit. That takes out of that, I think. Okay. That's uh, what do you got to say to me? Stained on the trampoline, an old Dan jumped to gain some ice. Okay. I will. Yeah, Road Galaxy, um, just seems cool. Uh, it's a cool setting for a turn-based RPG. I would love to check that out sometime. But I say that about a thousand other games, so just not in a hurry. Elephant Key 1, Elephant Key 2. We are looking for Elephant Keys, grubs. Thank you, Doug. What's in here? Oi, oi, hello. Uh, can you lend me some health? I could really use some health right now. You cannot. Very well. Um, so that's that way, and then there's a tent to win. That would probably be more combat. It has old wooden pirate ships in space, which is never knocked Yes, as Treasure Planet. Toys. Pumpkin juice. Is that a reference to the first game? The, the weird pumpkin side to fight there? Not possible. Same asset at least, I'm sure. Um, now why would you get me to jump onto the roof? Huh? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? What are you, what are you, what are you trying to show me here? Anything? Or is that relevant later? Possibly. Alright. I researched Treasure Planet like three months back. 
Oh, you mean rewatched? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I'd be. Uh, I'm kind of. I'm morbidly curious. Like, when, when, uh, I've got access to a Disney Plus login, so like a, belonging to a friend, and I will certainly watch Treasure Planet, among other things. Um, I remember going to see that with my aunt, and I think my cousin, and at least one of my brothers. And we arrived late, but it was still quite cool. I enjoyed it just fine. Jesus, okay. <sighs> oh dear. Wait a minute, what? Why did you give a little death whale if you're not dead? You silly Billy. Come on. Nice. Alright. Oh, imps! Hello. Hey, imps. Right, using that little square smash is quite useful. Once I don't have to get up close. Animation is still extremely impressive in parts. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad it has good qualities. Um, these little, these little holes. I mean, there was one. In the Egyptian tomb as well, so it makes me wonder if there's like, oh, you know what that's gonna be? That's gonna be Dan Hand. It's gonna be the thing where you attach your skull to a hand and go crawling around. That's what that's gonna be. So you don't shrink so much as just dismember yourself. <laughs> Alright, cool. Boing, boing, cool. Uh -huh. What do you got to tell me? The imps are using the freak show to build an army of giant elephant bots. That's it. Try and find where they're being constructed and destroy them. If we don't stop them, they'll storm the old city. Oh, that's no good. Alright. Uh, like, I try to land a square smash. Stubbs the Zombie? Oh, I, I remember reading about Stubbs the Zombie, thinking it was pretty cool. I would love to try it. Um, I think I think it's backwards compatible on 360, which I've got. So, um, I might have to look into that. Again, just making the to playlist ever longer. But, yeah. To answer your question, yes, I remember. To promise to play it, I'm not. <laughs> I would like to. Um, that theory I had about them publishing PS2 games on PS4 that they just had already had rights to. Again, War of the Monsters is on there. And that's a Sony Santa Monica game. So, uh, further credits to that theory. I just thought of, while we're thinking about old obs older, obscure games. Uh, where do I want to go right now? I don't want to really risk going across that cavern just yet. Stop screaming, please. Thank you. Apescape. Also Sony. Yep, there you go. Apescape 2 is on the system. So just stuff that was like either first or second part. Which I mean, hey, it's not, it wasn't a bad back catalogue even then, so certainly more diverse than, uh, no, I don't, sorry, that's a usual talking point to, uh, we'll say, like, they only do action adventure games now, that's not good. See if I can um, find a health belt. That'd be really good. But that just keeps going. All right. Um, all right. Again, don't want to necessarily go over that trampoline pit just yet. At least they're counting towards the chalice. All those imps. So that's good. So I think only makes games about sad dads. Yeah. Peter Parker, classic sad dad. <laughs> Ellie becomes a sad dad. In her own way. Cool. Alright. So 
these, this must be one of the robotic elephants that we gotta destroy. Come on. Come on. Point. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Again. <laughs> Ratchet. Clank. Ratchet is Clank's adoptive father. Yeah, that's correct. Fair call. You'll have to tell us how rift apart is. That'll probably be. You'll, you'll probably play that before any of us, so. Okay. That's where the chalice is. Good to know. Okay. Certainly remains to be seen whether Rift Apart will be a good game or a game that just demos really well. I like I like to think it'll be more outright better than the PS4 game, just because uh, it's not coinciding with the movie. But we'll, we'll see. It's not like Insomniacs are like a like bad at their job of making games. They're bad because they let these people well, uh, rule roost, but you know, it's a whole other story. Oh. Have I been down there? I think I can. Oh, what a shot. Where am I going? Oh. Oh, I'm back at the start. And, uh. Oh, uh, yeah, in that first area. Oh, well. More imps. More souls for the chalice. It's all good. And there's a health fountain, so that's good to know where that is. Hey, did you watch the Keelys? I did! Yes, I did watch the Keelys. Um, like, uh, what were the PS5 games that, can't, that they, look, they looked at that were interesting? Uh, I would say that was Returnal and um, Season. Season being that weird one where you let documenting other cultures. That was very light on detail, but in a good way. Um, and Returnal, of course, was revealed back when the PS5 itself was priced tagged. Uh, price tagged. And uh, that looks cool too. It's from Housemark, so I don't get on that. Um, that's as, as far as reveals go, that was like the most interesting stuff. I think in any other year, I'd say it was like pretty light, but this is 2020. As we established at the start, COVID is affecting everything. So the fact that they got even a Smash Brothers reveal is honestly pretty epic. That all parties involved were ready to, you know. Uh, season looks lovely, yes. Yes, it does. Um, as for the winners, oh, look. I mean, very predictable that Last of Us 2 won. Uh, not surprised at all. Don't feel like it deserves it, but whatever. I'm clearly the minority. So. whoop de doo And I'm sure Brendan would, if he was here, he would say the same. Okay. Now that is a robot elephant. Cool. This is very similar to those, um, those neck warriors we had to uh, fight in the last game. And similarly to the last game, just do it again. Hit it in the backside. Deeply complicated left sequence. Very souls -like. Still haven't finished Last of Us 2, you're not that compelled to. Fair enough, it is a tiring game. Alright, nice. We got one elephant there. Oh, what? What was taking health from me? Oh, was it electrocuting? God, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, we're gonna double back. It's a good thing we made our way across that trampoline pit, I guess. Oh, I don't know where the other one's gonna be. It's gonna be in there. Firstly, um... Is there a, uh... Yep, shit, come on. Hold him down the circle button. Gotta respond to me. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. I like to be full of ammo. Having just used a bunch. 
All right. Um, and I think we can toil on and beat wherever this last elephant is. Beat that sequence, whatever it ends up being. Uh, on the amount of health that we have now, I think we'll be good. Uh, I like how that looked quite pretty, but did nothing. It's just like a psych up sequence. Maybe they were loading an ex, uh, like hiding a loading screen. I don't know. Okay. Did that vary the, the fight a little bit between the two of them? But anyway. Whoop, Dito. I like making progress in the this, so I will not play. Really. I like that the imps in this have like cute little eyes. In the last game, they uh, in the remake. The first game, they don't really. They more like evil little piggies. Uh, these guys look like lemmings, kind of. I like it. Yeah. All right. And let's not refill an ammo again. And let's instead get back to the first area, which is over the trampoline pit, as we've established. Uh, we will heal up, and then use the elephant keys, and then progress to the next area. Simples. Alrighty. I haven't fucked this up yet, and I have no intention of doing it now. Woo! Nice. <sighs> Without a drop shutter. Well judged on the designer's part. Okay. Heal up. So down. Right, now, elephant keys. Oh, hello. Oh, and we need the chalice. That is what we need. So we have not collected it yet. Let's try and find it. We did see it. We have already seen it. And I've completely forgotten where it is. Okay, so that's that's where we're gonna go next. But first, we're gonna remind ourselves, me and my shitty memory, again, I'm gonna remind myself where this chalice is. If you happen to remember, please tell me. Oh, I think I know where it is. Extremely colourful lighting to that time. Yes, indeed. More of that dynamic power. Pierce one power. Yeah. I mean, my dual shocks unlocked it. You know? Really enabling that was a especially good idea. I think it's down here. The chalice. So I remember seeing it rather late in the sequence. Oh, that's it. I... No, this is just the elephant. There's my elephant. Okay. Maybe it's in the tent. Uh, you know, the other tent. <laughs> There's a few tents in this. And I mean, fair enough. It is a freak show. Yeah, that's a horror. Okay. Come on, Dan. You're not that old. Hmm. Come on, Pumbi. Okay. Yes! Cool. Okay. So we got the chalice. So it's all sorted. So all we gotta do is double back, go through that door we unlocked with the elephant keys. Hmm. Um, I like. Jeff Keighley's commitment to putting at least one Muppet in every show. 
every show that he puts on, <laughs> seemingly. He had Pika last year, and they put him in that Untitled Goose game. And then they had Swedish Chef this year, and they put him in Overcooked too. So, I mean, he's hoping Miss Piggy turns up in the next God of War game. That's what I'd say. Okay, uh, can we top up her health real quick? Yeah, why not? Okay, if the last boss fight of the last game is any indication, it can come down to literally six points of health. Sure can. Ooh, more output. Swedish Chef and Overcooked Scuba, they should have given him photorealistic humans. <laughs> just revamp the engine, just for that. That would be good. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. So the the imp guarding this one is uh, ooh, here we go. Is protected, but if I wait until it's hanging out here, <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah. Okay. That is definitely what we're gonna do on this one. Fair enough. I suspect there's another lever. Oh, okay. Um, it's too late there. And my shield got uh, destroyed immediately. That sucks. I used it to deflect that laser and it just oh, disappeared on me. Alright. Goodness, we got lots of health. Right, so, we are gonna just hang out here. Where's my elephant? Where's my elephant? Hey, it's the elephant song. Come on, man. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. All right. So I'm guessing there's one more over here. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, oh, excuse me. What was that? <laughs> PS1 collision physics, huh? Oh dear, alright. Just gotta wait. Come on, elephant. Alright, see. Ah. Yeah! Nice. Come on, blow up. Blow up! Okay, don't blow up. Just fizzle out. Very good. leave and uh, find this door that just opened uh, is there any more health in this fountain probably like a little bit more but not much no almost a full almost a full flask nice all right okay so what's this last door This? No. I think it's out here. This last door that they want me to go through. I want me to go up here to find it. Oh. Uh, no, it's this. I think. Oh, I see. Was this the intro area? And then... Um, Oh, hello. There's a lot of coin here. Right. Cool. It's a coin of the realm. Um, am I able to get up on these? Probably not. I think they were just hanging out on there to then ambush me. What's through here? Anything? Have I already been here? Uh, 
Yes, yes I have. This is where I went to get that second life bottle. So I'm gonna double back. Uh, check this area out. I may have already been here. I apologize. If I have. Yes. Yes, I have been here. Alright, cool. This this was the first area. Alright. So then we went through here. Then we went left. To go to the rest of the level. And we're just gonna go that way. Anything in here? No. Is that the is that the end? It is! Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Alrighty. Uh, you got anything to tell me? Dad, you're back! Fantastic! Loads to tell you! I've analyzed what you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Who? What's his name? The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. Good man. He tried to gain respectability by joining the magician's circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young His voice is a bit silly in lady this one. is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading, and let me tell you, she's gonna talk I at all. Old, but she's positively pretty. ancient. No offense. You were the uh. one who freed me from my eternal prison? Great warrior, I salute thee. I am forever in your debt. Right, introduction's <laughs> over. On with Shit. the show. <laughs> Alright, chalice. <laughs> lovely, isn't uh, she? The crossbow. Yes, she is lovely. Very useful weapon in the last game. Let's just, uh, I assume it's more useful than the pistol. Uh, less ammo. That's fine. Or maybe there's more ammo, but I just gotta buy it. Okay. I reckon I've got a commitment to meet at 9 o'clock. I've had dinner, so I'm not bothered. Um, I think we can try and knock over one more level. Greenwich Observatory. What do you got to tell me? Greenwich! Winston's done some reconnaissance. He says Winston, he saw something weird going on at the observatory. If Pale thought was behind it, he must be stopped. Let's not forget, this mad scientist, um, when he was talking about Zarok's spellbook, which this Lord Palethorn character is using to um, revive the dead, when he was talking about the book, he was very excited. Like, in a way that suggested that he would also do use, the, use it for the similarly nefarious means at the Drop Vat. So, uh, I'm anticipating a heal turn. I don't know if there will be one, but we'll see. Cool. Whoa, what? <laughs> hmm. How did this not happen last time? Oh. Lost your head, Dane. Swim between head and body using L1 plus triangle. Okay. If you find your head, L1 plus triangle will put it back on. Okay. <laughs> Radio. Um, why don't I kill this fella first? No, nice. Okay. Um. <laughs> And I can do absolutely nothing as the head. I can look around, get a sense of where it is. It's on top of the observatory somewhere. Okay. So I just gotta go around headless. Like a regular sleepy hollow. <laughs> Stubs the zombie. I think of also there's this game where like part of it is that you get dismembered, but you can control your different body parts and like reassemble yourself. 
It's like a third person shooter and it reviewed pretty poorly. I forget what it's called though. It's like on 360 and PS3, I think. Um, yeah, I'd have to look it up. Dane, I've looked around. There's something going on in the observatory. I am the listening to all this with the ear holes Perhaps that I still have. Perhaps you can find another way getting in. Right. Go and see what's across the river. Okay. Can you just not go across the river and fight this one? Alright. There you are. Get out of here! Yeah! Alright. There's also the Missing by Sweary, which has a lot of this moment. Yes, I played a little bit of that. What the fuck? Jeez. The bird, I think, was putting droppings on me. It's oh. wise to it this time. Oh, die, jeez. Yes, a shield. That'll help. Okay. Um, to the docks. Cool. Is there another spot I could go to? Like somewhere up high? Or... I think this is how I got in. And over here, it's just a gate and more guys. And a really fat so that's good. I eat I love not having to approach enemies in this game. <laughs> there we go. Used up the entire fountain, but I reckon it was worth it. Alright. So, I think we've scoped out everything in this first little area. Uh, yep. Okay, to the docks. To the docks! towards the chalice. Yeah, cool. It's nice that, because it's not exactly like Devil May Cry or God of War in terms of like, you know, the combat is not the draw, you know? It's just navigating levels and getting the chalice by killing enemies is very much part of it, so. Yeah. Why am I trying to defeat airborne enemies with <laughs> a melee weapon? And I could just shoot at them with projectiles. Okay, I should try not to fall down like that. Nope. Oh! Is that... Hang on, what? What is that? I think it, I think it possessed one of those dead bodies? This thing I'm fighting? Friggin' head crap, that's what this is. Alright, oh, yeah. interesting. So that's why you, you're able to smash bodies, because then you affect that enemy's ability to uh, survive, really. back. Okay. I don't want to waste too much time because as I said I've got something to do at 9 o'clock so I don't want to keep my mates waiting. 
Alright. Let's get my head back. Oh, gotta stop doing that. Tell myself not to, and I do it anyway. Alright. Please die like I wanted you to earlier. For fuck's sake! Really? I know where my head's at. I know exactly where it is. It's the same place it was last time. Sadly predictable. I just let the walls cave in on me. Always. Alright. There we go. Now let's try not to suffer full damage this time, huh? There we go. You walk to the ladder. And we go down with the with the grace of a ballerina. Let's see if I can kill this stupid thing. Yeah, first thing. There we go. Alright. Chase it away, is that the idea? Alright, I'll stop. Like just... Sorry, shop I'm having a bit of trouble right now. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna assume I can't kill that bird. That's just gonna be a thorn in my side. For the remainder of the level. Hey! Nice! Love to find life bottles and permanently increase my health. Alright. What have you got for me, Winston? Them birds pesky, aren't they? Yep. See if you can use your head to solve this puzzle. It should work like any other item in your inventory. Uh, okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. So there are. Roman numerals one to four. going on here why did you why'd you tell me to do that now my head's behind a glass wall and I don't know what to do Are you gonna tell me something else Damn bird. okay uh, was I meant to have the, the hand by this point anyway, all right bodies. Okay. Maybe fill up, fill up one up to first notch, two up to second and so on. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Oh, that's cool. I actually quite like that. Pressing action would be there. We Right, so don't approach this guy unless you got your head. This is the lesson of the day right now. God, you really have to mash X. There we go. Alright, get the hell out of my head. Alright, um... 
Please. That's somebody to fight. I'm gonna get my head back. Look for a racist solution. It's a tally bug. Stop doing this to me. Thank you. Alpha. You're give me, like, iframes, you know? Like some... Finally. Jeez Louise. Wait, do I have to? Is there no way back up? There's no way back up. Come on. Oh, here we go. There is a way back up. Alright, and uh, this drawbridge. Is that what I'm trying to lower with that new puzzle from earlier? Okay, I guess so. Alright, anyway. Try this puzzle again. Come on. Okay. What do we reckon? Is that good enough for you? No, it isn't. What happens if I just smash this wood metal panel? None. None at all. Jeez Louise. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. It was a good idea. I'm going to get going until I see some other solution. This game's been pretty good at, all, at giving you the solution. Like, with... Like, a fair amount of in inquiry. Probably clues somewhere that tell you how to solve it. Yeah, exactly. It just did a massive jump. You saw that. So like, it's not, it's not that I was near it necessarily. It's just the AI decided, yep, okay, now's the time when I make life hard. There's a sewer right there. Good way to get down there later. Uh, what's on top of the boat? Can I get up there yet? No, cannot. Jesus. Not you again. Come on. Hopefully there's two. If I had my head back, this would be easy. Slowly killing this thing. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. 98% for shells? At least we're that far along. Uh, okay. So I guess we're looking for something with Roman numerals, I guess. Um, we'll get into Dan Camp shortly. I just gotta uh, just gotta get to higher ground, I think. Alright. Alright. Uh D1 loading only. That doesn't really correspond with what we're talking about. Why are you chasing me? I've got no head to get. Hey, finally. It did die. Nice. Just gonna look around some fashion clue. Okay. I can't go into first person mode because I have no head to turn. That's very that's cute. But also annoying. In a way. Um just gonna keep an eye out for something that would say, hey, this is what you're meant to do with the spot with the Roman numerals. But I'm not seeing anything.
just yet. And there's nothing around here. The matey is right at the moment. So I think it's just me versus this puzzle. And there's no way to get my head out, I don't think. I can try again. Again, this game's had a really good little run of puzzles that were simple enough to figure out. If we don't... Uh, end that streak. Okay. I guess I'll just try doing it in reverse. So... This is one. Fill this up. Yeah, okay. Um... Alright, let's um, backtrack to the start of the level and see if that does anything. Okay. We're just going, we are just keeping a hunt out for anything in the environment that says puzzle solution. Just screams it. It's going to yell out to me. Uh, seaside, there's a little poster there. Okay. I felt like I'd scoped out this opening area well enough. I just really want to have that Eureka moment, like I had with the um, with finding the chalice in the uh, in the Kensington level. Just want to, I just want to experience that again. That is what I want. Yeah, there was this gate, but uh, unopenable as far as I could tell. Uh, I think I could kill that bird at least. Get me partly up to Chalice, Chalice Town. Yeah, nice. All right, any help? Oh, I see. When you switch back to your head, you have to load it all over again. Oh, motherfuck. I, I went into first person mode while the head was <laughs> behind the glass panel by holding L2 and R2, and there's your solution. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, gosh. How many games would do something like that? <laughs> Back when, like, just going into first person mode was novel, mode was novel and not, like,. Just to, yeah. <laughs> Love us. Exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Here I, like, I had the right idea. I had the right idea. Just looking for the right sign. Because it's not like, I mean, you say real mist hours. It's not a mist type game with its puzzles. This is, it, it's, it's figure outable by, like, young ages, you know? But, like, I just, I had the right idea. It's just, they just chose to hide it in the weirdest spot. Okay, got to switch to the head and go into first person mode. One is half, two is one. Three is, hang on, half, one, one, three. Two, one, one, three. So, uh, it's got to be half. It's got to be one. It's got to be one. Gotta be two more. Beautiful. Alright. Now give me my head back. What a bizarre puzzle. Okay. Alright, let's kill like three more enemies, get a get access to the chalice, and then fuck off. Silly, silly little. Get out of here. You're not taking over this body. Yes! Alright, chalice hours. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. That is okay, okay, okay. Not the, that KKK. Okay, okay, okay. Please do not clip that and turn that into another sound wave. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. I believe I gotta find some more levers. <laughs> Chalice of Souls, baby. Alright. Uh, so. I 
don't think I can't I, I said to myself like I, you know we got to find another lever because I don't think that wooden panel was raised high enough but we'll might as well try yeah oh hang on I gotta do a super jump like what we learned to do in an earlier level okay so we do a dash triangle oh okay I think we can make it it's worth another shot Here's one error platforming, it could just be off by a hair, so let's just try it again. So what I'm doing is pressing triangle and the run up to dash and circle to jump. Should be doable, I reckon. I don't I'm not I haven't seen any more levers, but I would have done by now if it was required to get a bit more height. Uh okay, boink. No, 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 go. Damn. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna break a master. Alright. Just gotta try again. This is absolutely thrilling, I'm sure. Fuck's sake. <laughs> PlayStation 1. Swimming me polygons and bad platforming. Just enough of an input delay to be for me to be like, ah, fuck. All right. Whoop. Alrighty. I can do this. I can do this. I cannot do this. Oh boy. All right. I gotta like pick an earlier. Where's my headphone keep falling out? I gotta pick an earlier part of the platform to then hit the jump button on because where I'm hitting it now, it's just like, nope. Don't count. So Union Jack and next week you'll have a CRT. <laughs> uh, I wish. I wish. Okay. Uh, okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sucks. Why would you design this? Why would you put this in your game? <laughs> Why is this fun? <laughs> now I'm just getting pissy. I really am. I might be laughing, but holy crap. Alright. Okay. And I can't hit that lever one more time to make it go even higher. No. Just checking. Just checking. When I'm halfway over that last panel, I will hit circle. There we go. Oh my goodness. Whew. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. But, uh... Didn't need it. <laughs> okay. Never going back to the sword. Players will feel closer to Sir Dan by doing horrible jumping puzzles while controlling him. This is the Medieval 2 experience that we want to give players. It's truly the biggest scares of all. The worst than zombies. I don't recall the last game having a jumping puzzle that terrible. This is taking a while. There we go. Alright. Can you die too, please? Very sick of dealing with you. Good. 
Oh my god, I am so close to death. This is not fair. After all that, fucking hell. Give me a health fountain soon or I will hate you. Once through this door, there's no going back, Dane. Okay, I've got the chalice, so it's fine. Oh boy. If I die immediately, we will call it there and I will get up to here off stream and then start from here next week. Uh, well, there's no stream next week because Thursday of next week is Christmas Eve. So I am not going to be available to do anything of that sort. But uh, I, I might do one at another day of the week. We'll All see. right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Thank you, Winston. <laughs> yeah, yeah Reese. Far out, Reese. You got like six cents for this sort of thing. We did indeed get a save point. Okay, it's probably just... Man, we are so close to death. It is savage. Um, I did see... Let me just establish, is there a health fountain on this stage? That's all I want to know. I just want to know. I'm going to avoid... Here we go. Okay, there is. Yeah. We've answered that question. There is a health fountain. So all we got to do when we load this save up again is uh, get to that health fountain pronto. And we can do that. We just did. We just got to get around there and then just de defeat those enemies and it'll be great. Um, yeah, it's a good, good spot to pick it up from. Um, now, future streams. I thought you were going to die to full damage. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm surprised I didn't. Um, Friday, normally uh, the, my two co-hosts on this channel sit and watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Reese. Um, sit and watch Yu-Gi-Oh, but... Um, they uh at least one of them isn't available for that so they won't be doing that and uh that was going to be the last stream for the week so i do wonder what's in store because next week obviously christmas lands and i don't have as much free time for this silliness um i don't know we'll keep you posted uh if anyone's watching this after the fact or, or live by some chance uh feel free to join our discord it's on a twitch page there's a link below uh there's only a few people currently so you know it's not heavily moderated or um locked down just yet so that's cool uh you can just chat to us and you'll get info on what else we're going to do straight away um yeah i would like to do one more stream before the end of the year i really would it'd be nice maybe some some one off just to like between christmas and new year's to uh better enjoy myself i was going to take a vacation in like the first week of January that's going to be in the state it's probably not going to happen um no doubt if I can that flight I will be home I will be doing streams and uh, I will think of more fun stuff to do yeah just I don't, I don't know stay tuned is all I'm saying stay tuned um and uh yeah I'll, I'll if if we don't tune in if we don't go live before Christmas have a good Christmas or whatever other holiday or however you spend that particular day of the year because obviously a lot of people do shit on that day. Maybe you don't celebrate Christmas at all. Maybe you celebrate nothing. Up to you. Either way, have a nice time um, and we will see you when we see you. So, to finish off, let me cue up some music. Uh, I'll go with... What I'll go with? Um, we will go with... Uh, the main menu music of PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. How about that? I love it, and you will too. Okay. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to wave goodbye. I'm going to switch to the end stream screen, and you're going to enjoy some classic, classic PS3 All-Star mashup main menu tunes. See you later.
green screen. What is wrong with me? Ugh. I got so caught up in these raiders, I didn't know what I was doing. There we go. 